Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello, my name is Lutfiana Rahmawati I'm from English Lecture EIN Surakarta So now I will present you about happiness uh, Happiness is something that people all over the world are hoping for Actually, there are no definite benchmark to definition of happiness because basically, happiness is just a word and we are the ones that make the definition of happiness. That's why happiness is relative. For me, uh, happiness is when I can uh, feel calm and relieved, when I can calm down my bad thoughts, when I can um, do whatever I want to do with free, without having worry about what people think of me that's happiness for me Schumann always asks like where can find happiness they keep asking about that until they start to blaming anything sometimes some people even blaming to God and said why God don't give me happiness now let me tell you about something happiness lies in nothing but on yourself it depends on yourself your thought and how you perceive things if something bad happened there are only two options you can choose first you can keep yourself sad or second you can choose to accept it and making it a life lesson so you won't feel burdened anymore and can more enjoy your life i will give you another example let's say there is someone who give a plate of rice with egg as a side dish to many people every day some people get excited and eat it while others get annoyed because they are feel boring some people will get excited must be bored too but they were able to think of it in a different perspective like at least uh, I still eat and I have more life than those who couldn't eat at all that's why happiness is related with a bird pool. now trying to see anything especially bad things with a different perspective and you will see something to be grateful and finally happy there are several things that will help you to feel happiness first always be grateful and stop complaining about something like what i said before Happiness is related with gratitude, feeling grateful for all that you have right now because there are actually a lot of people who would want your current position right now. So stop complaining and start to be thankful. Second thing is stop comparing your life with other people's life. Maybe one of the reasons why you can feel the happiness is because you always compare your life with other people's lives. Instead of uh, thinking about other people's life, better you focus on your own. If you always feel like this, at the end of the day, you will never see or feel the happiness that overwhelms you because you will always continue to feel dissatisfied. This because you put your happiness standard based on other people's standard. So try to stop it and start to make your own happiness. The last but not least is try to not to care about what people say and just uh, do what you want to do. I know it's hard, but remember this is your life, not other people's life. Other people don't know about what actually happened in your life. We have the right to move to the world that we choose. As long as it brings happiness, why not? Just believe in yourself. Before I end this presentation, I want to uh, give you the conclusion. So, happiness always is everywhere as long as you can see it, as long as you can feel it. Like what I said before, it depends on yourself, on your thought and the way you perceive things. And also, don't forget to be thankful too, because being grateful will help you to see happiness. Thank you for watching my presentation. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.